Well, hey folks, welcome to another episode of Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. This one's going to be a little bit different. I've been asked by multiple people, can I do a walkthrough of the Stamus? And I will definitely do that now. We've had the boat for a little, about a month and a half and I can't say enough about it. Uh, I fall in love with it even more and more every time I get to go out and drive it and use it. And everybody that's been on it has been like, oh my God, this is such a beautiful boat. Everything from the size of the T-top to the comfort of the ride to the fishability to just everything about it has been unbelievable. It has way surpassed anything that I thought. And I had high, high thoughts on this boat, but it's been an incredible fishing machine. There's so many comfort luxury deals with this boat. Um, I had my, a lot of my fam, I had my almost, I had all my uh, grandkids, my, uh, both my stepdaughters, my son-in-law is on the boat. We went for a cruise to St. Pete. It was awesome. They love the boat. We have misters on it. So when it's hot, I turn on the misters and that actually makes it nice. Uh, so that, that's one of the features that we'll talk about. But overall, this boat has been great. We can't, I can't say enough about it. So we're gonna go ahead and start the walkthrough. And, and go from there. Let's go up and start on the front of the boat. Starting at the front of the boat, you'll see we have a large anchor locker with 300, 300 feet of road and a windlass, and the anchor comes with the boat itself. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see that we have a an empty storage where we have our trolling motor unit coming through, and we have the fuse box for it. And so if something goes wrong, we can get to it very easily. You can tell we have a customized plate from Sunray Marine that mounted this to the boat and it's worked out awesome. So we have full use of both of these storage units and it works out great. This 96 inch, 120 pound thrust Rodan trolling motor holds this boat in three foot waves. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I've been extremely happy with the Rodan so far. Everything's been good. Uh, so that's been a huge plus for us. But if something happens and if we need to anchor, which we've had to anchor twice in the bay, we can go and use the windlass and use the anchor and it holds us just fine. Next, we have the front storage area and front, front lounge area. And in this area, we have... Uh, we have cushions that go up front that the that everybody can lay on. There's plenty of room. We have backrests that come up. So there's plenty of room to be able to put numerous people up front here. And also the middle part here pops up as a table. So you can utilize this as a table also, or you can put it down, or you can put it evenly with the rest of the deck and use it and put the cushion on top of that also. Another cool feature about this boat is the storage compartment in the floors. There's two on each side that you can use for rod lockers. You can use them for um, fish boxes. They, uh, you can use them for all, I just use them for regular storage because there's a ton of area to put rods. So I just use them for storage. But this one up front is used for our batteries for our trolling motor. Basically, they typically will use this as just an extra anchor holder, but we transformed it into hold our batteries and keep our batteries for our trolling motor down here. So as you can see, it's very clean in here. We made a false floor so we could put the batteries down in there and it worked out perfectly. So if you're looking at a Stamus and you want to put in a trolling motor system, that's a perfect place to put your batteries is right there in that extra extra anchor locker as I call it, but now it's our battery locker and it works out great as you can see. Now next we have this huge console and it's huge. I mean, a lot of times I almost have to stand on my tippy toes if I'm, if I'm standing up just to see over so I can see the bow, but I can see the bow, but I typically will sit a little bit higher on the bolster system and I'll show you that in a minute. But this console has seating up front, as you can see, it works out great, it's very comfortable but at the same time, it has a, um, a head with a sink, with a mirror. So this head system works out great. It's especially with females on the boat. If they have to use the restroom, 
they can go down there use the restroom so that's the neat thing about having this is that uh, if somebody needs to go to the restroom they can and it's a great asset to have now i'm standing at the console itself and as you can see it's huge people mistake the this black plexiglass as a giant as a giant uh gps fish finder but it's not it's just black plexiglass as you can see we have two hummingbirds on here one's a 19 inch apex the other one is a 12 inch solix the apex is a new machine out by hummingbird and i've got to say that i've absolutely loved these especially the apex when you compare the two together the apex has 1920 by 1080 so the picture is absolutely just stunning on it and you can see so many more things on this than you did the solix and the solix is a really good machine so this has just upped our game and helped us tremendously now as you can see here's a seating system and the cool thing about this seating system is that it has a lever down below here that actually will allow you to slide the the, the seat back and forth i slide the seat forward when i'm driving so i can get closer to the wheel and i can see higher up sitting on this bolster and i can definitely see the bow when i'm driving um it, they're extremely comfortable as you can see it's got foldable it's got foldable armrest which chad will sit over there and just sit back and relax and have his arms on the arm armrest and just i could fall asleep if i wasn't driving but i'm driving but it, they're extremely comfortable and like i said they they can slide forward and uh so they go back and forth and then the bolsters of course come down just like this so you can sit down regularly like this but i can't see over i can't see over the dash so i sit on the bolster and then i sit up like this and now i can definitely see the bow and i can drive very easily so it's very nice i don't have this boat outfitted with autopilot my next big purchase is going to be a uh a uh, radar so i know what's going on offshore when we're looking out for storms and things like that but this shows you how comfortable these folds down i can drive the boat like this and keep my knees on the wheel and keep the boat straight the boat typically drives itself pretty straight unless it's really rough so i can just sit back like this and just enjoy the ride and make sure i'm looking ahead and paying attention on what's going on now this boat has a beautiful upholstery system all the way around it has combing bolsters it has the seats up front, which I'm not gonna put on because I don't feel like it right now. I'll show you a picture of it so you can see it, but it's hot, I'm dying. I just unloaded a bunch of items. So you can see how well crafted this upholstery is. It's absolutely beautiful, it's comfortable, it's easy to clean. I'm making sure that we're keeping it um, you know, protected and things like that. So it's very, very well done. Another neat feature of this boat is you have two cup holders, a speaker, and a USB port on each side. So you can put the drinks, if somebody's sitting up here, you can put drinks in there. You can plug in a phone if you need to. So that's a neat, neat little option. Okay, let's go ahead and move to aft console and show you what the back of the boat is about. This boat is 10 foot four in beam, so it's got a huge beam for a 31 foot boat. And there's plenty of room as you see on most of our videos you never see us get, getting in each other's way even with five people six people on this boat it's very comfortable to fish there's plenty of area to walk back get your bait not have to worry about it and that's the cool thing about this uh, particular boat is the live well is huge you can I can literally crawl down in that thing and has still have plenty of room it holds a ton of bait I'm a, I'm a baitaholic I love to catch as much bait as I possibly can catch so that's a huge aspect to this boat is having this huge live well and then having the sink we use we use the sink as just storage putting a bucket in and keeping our scissors and stuff like that so it's right there so we can work on it and uh we can tie lines things like that put on jigs and then of course we keep our our nets right there in the handle we have a speaker down below so this live well in particular is huge. I love it when it comes to building a boat. You just don't understand until you get in this and get an understanding of how this boat is laid out. But with this system down here, for us to be able to just get down there and work on something if we had to is so easy. 
Okay, now we make our way to the very back of the boat, which is where all the magic happens, mainly. Especially in this corner right here. This is Chad's corner, eye candy. This is his corner, he loves his corner, and the guy catches a ton of fish in this corner. But he'll move to that corner and catch fish too. So he's a fish catching machine. Everybody thinks he's a great fisherman, which he is. I'll give him props. And what's nice about this, in this boat, I, I was talking to uh, uh, Roy from Easy uh, Boat Fuels, and he was telling me that there's some boats out there that have their gas can or their gas fill and their water fill right next to each other. And sometimes they have this, they'll, they'll have the same, the same um, hatch or lid or whatever you want to call it. So they can get, it can get confusing. So you really got to pay attention to that. Well, Stamus did that completely opposite. They put gas fills on both sides of the boat for both tanks, which holds, this boat holds 276 gallons of fuel. And then they put the water and the waste back here, which was very smart because this separates everything. So when I need to fill up the water, I fill up the water. This has a 20 gallon fresh water tank. So it's nice when you want to use this misters. It's nice when you want to use the shower head to cool off or the sinks or the toilet or anything else like that. So it's really nice having that. Now, another thing about this boat is there's another live well and we use this live well particularly for shrimp. So this live well, I think is about a 30 gallon live well and we hold shrimp in it and and it works great again it's in eye candy's corner he loves this corner this is where he <laughs> gets his shrimp out of and the, this is a it's a great live well for that application now we'll go to where we keep all of our fish when we go out and catch fish we have this huge fish box in the very back so we literally put eight buckets of ice in here and it still is not even close to filling it up that's how big it is but it holds our fish we can slush them and it works out great it's huge and i love having this in the back of the boat so when we catch a fish somebody just opens up the door we slide it right in so it works out absolutely perfectly now if you see this upholstery down here this is this is really nice too this is actually a back seat that folds up and folds down you can use it as a, a semi combing bolster or you can use it as a bench seat it's an awesome seat to use while you're cutting bait or just when you're traveling if you don't bring the bean bags you can use this this back seat and it works out great all right last but not least let's talk about the rod holders there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty there are 20 rod holders just in the, the aft section of the boat including the t-top and what's nice about having these rod holders is they don't get in your way they're out of the way you can pick up a rod easily. You can still fish around the rods. It, it works out absolutely awesome. I love, love, love the aspect of this. And then we also have rod holders or, or uh, rod holders down in the gunnels down here. There's three of them. If you wanted to use those, you can use those. Uh, we've had we haven't had to use those yet. Even with six people on the boat, we haven't had to use them. So it's it's awesome to have. It's powered by two twin Suzuki 300s, which pushes this boat just over 50 miles an hour is the top speed that I've hit so far. Uh, we cruise at we cruise at 32, 33 miles an hour burning. We get 1.8 miles per gallon right now, and I think that's actually going to get better as these motors get more broken in. We actually have over 100 hours on our motors, and they've been awesome. Uh, I don't even think about it when we go out they start up it's been a it's been an awesome boat i've never thought in a million years i would own a 31 foot offshore boat with twin engines just that wasn't my style of fishing but things change as you grow and that's exactly what happened so chad and i have been very fortunate and uh if it wasn't for a lot of you we wouldn't be in the position that we're in so we thank you for that I hope that this run through of this boat was a very good run through for you. If you have any questions about the boat, you can contact me or you can contact the guys at Sunray. Sunray is the one that sold us this boat and no, we did not get it for free. I wish, but we did not get it for free. Sunray is great. They've been a huge sponsor of ours for a few years now. We're growing as a community and they're like number one, top tier. They've been one of the first ones there with us from the very beginning and I can't thank them enough. They've been absolutely awesome. So if you're interested in a Stamus 
or any other of their boat lines i think now they have 11 different boat lines so if you're necessarily not looking for a stamus they have a lot of different options from bay boats like the avenger by carolina composites the pioneer boats they have bulls bay they have pontoon tritoon uh so they have sting they have stingray boats so there's a, such a wide variety of boats that they offer so if you are looking for a boat if it's not a stamus it's okay but even if you go in there and say hey todd from tampa bay fishing channel sent us that will help us tremendously and show that we're still kind of doing our job a little bit <laughs> but those guys i love those guys over there i can't thank them enough oh one last thing this t-top this boat is 10 foot 4 inches wide you can see this t-top I say this T-top's about nine foot wide and everybody gravitates towards the T-top when the sun's high. This T-top has been awesome when it comes to coverage. Can't say enough about the T-top, can't say enough about the Stamus. So if you are looking for a boat, visit the guys at Sunray. Thank you so much for the support. We really appreciate it. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.